Colorado is one of several states without time limits on when a woman can get an abortion. Pro-lifers in the state hope voters will change that narrative by voting yes on Election Day to a measure that restricts abortion after 22 weeks. This has been the blood, sweat, and tears of, of um, Christians and pro-lifers in this state through the petition process in the middle of a COVID pandemic where people rose up and said, we want this on the ballot. So it's on the November 3rd ballot now. We're quite excited about it. In 1967, Colorado became the first state to legalize abortion, six years before Roe versus Wade made it legal nationwide. More than 50 years later, it's one of seven states, plus the District of Columbia, that allows a baby to be aborted up to the ninth month. Across the state, abortion opponents, including Focus on the Family, hope to change that with the initiative Proposition 115. Most states, the vast majority of states, have some type of restriction on abortion uh, after viability. Colorado needs to join the, the majority of states who recognize that a baby's life at 22 weeks and capable of experiencing pain um, will stick its tongue out, will suck its thumb, and can recognize its mother's voice. This is not the kind of stage where we should even be considering abortion, except where the life of the mother is threatened. It also includes serious consequences for doctors who violate the order. The editorial board of the Denver Post opposes the ban, saying Colorado's prosecutors should not be in exam rooms with patients and their obstetricians. Proposition 115 would put the long arm of Colorado's law in the middle of the complicated, tragic, and sometimes life and death decisions doctors help women with high-risk pregnancies make every day in this state. We hope voters refuse this ban on abortions after 22 weeks of gestation. Many are split on the issue. A recent poll found that 42% favor the ban, while 45% say they'll vote no. Past attempts to restrict abortion have failed. Earlier this year, state lawmakers voted down legislation that would have mandated physicians provide medical care to a child born alive after or during an abortion. Hauskinick says this latest plan is more promising. When we're talking about a 22-week abortion ban, that still allows abortion to occur, but a reasonable restriction there at, after 22 weeks. This puts us in the mainstream of all the rest of the, the states out there and has, makes it a, uh, a much better chance of passing. Still, he's urging believers across the country to pray that Prop 115 succeeds. We would appreciate the prayers of the nation of uh, Colorado uh, voters would pass this 22-week uh, abortion ban as, as a way to save lives and promote um, the lives of the unborn. Charlene Aaron, CBN News.